My roommate and I decided that we're going to take a trip to Spain. Okay. And uh, we are we are going to learn Spanish. Um, he is first generation Mexican, so he has a little bit of a jump on me, uh, seeing as he's like fluent in Spanish. And uh, who made the decision? Uh, it was a joint decision. Um, the learning so, Spanish uh, part was, was oh, it, yes, <laughs> it, it was also a joint decision. Um, and uh, so I decided to to go at uh, Duolingo, which is a, a popular app, and it told me that I'm 27 percent fluent, which is a fucking lie because uh, <laughs> he tried speaking to me in Spanish and I didn't. It was literally another language. <laughs> <laughs> But that's uh, that's about the extent of my culture. Uh, I went to Canada recently. What happened there? Uh, I got yelled at by by a very angry Frenchman French Frenchman at a uh, hostel that I was playing at. Um, so because of our a, president, was it a hostel? <laughs> it was a hostile environment. It, it certainly was. But uh, that's really about all the culture I have. <laughs> <laughs> and what more do you need? I don't have you, have you listened to our podcast at all, Sandry? Is this your first exposure to it? Um, I've listened to uh, bits and pieces. I listened to a fair amount of the the uh, uh, pilot run. Sure. Um, yeah. Well, just so you know what you're getting yourself into, uh, it's a highly intellectual program, and it features today's most preeminent uh, political and philosophical minds discussing relevant issues, and it's very topical and very very tasteful. So just keep that in mind uh the only exception obviously being when i try and trick our friend into singing songs for us and making sexual comments about his family but other than that it's very very highbrow are you stuff. gonna are you gonna try and put you you're not gonna do that to me right well time will tell the <laughs> evening's <laughs> early and uh, i still yeah. gotta get to know my friends a little better <laughs> so uh, it brings us closer together it absolutely it does. does so now since we had ross do his German accent. Can you do your uh, Spanish? Uh, oh, accent? no, no. <laughs> uh, uh, Can you do us? Are, are we doing uh, Spain or? Uh, cause they, if we're doing Spain, it has that little bit of lisp. Ignacio. Wait. Whoa, um, whoa, whoa. The lisp is, is, is on the C's and the Z's, not the S. Is it not? <laughs> <laughs> so, it's it, like yeah. the person who laughs so cerveza, nervously, like cerveza. Like yeah. The person who laughs cerveza. nervously with the cerveza. braces. Cerveza. But if you were having multiple beers, it would be cervezas. I feel like, like if I'm having multiple beers, it's going to be cervezas anyway. Th- right. <laughs> At a certain point, it's all just lists. Yeah. Um, and do you know how that came about in the Spanish uh, dominion? No, I, I, I gave you all the culture I had before. All right, so, well, let's um, grow a little please, bit. Uh, please tell the story. There was a Spanish king who had a lisp, and he was very... Uh, self-conscious of it and so oh, i thought he, like each line was gonna rhyme like it's a <laughs> no, like, like a, a limerick a, yeah <laughs> there's a Spanish. there once was a king in spain <laughs> whose list was so bad he'd complain he tried and tried and never knew why so he made everyone else talk with the lisp too. <laughs> that, and thank you brain. inspired work it's right, yeah, by bill schmidt everybody dude, we need that to be a part of bill's <laughs> limerick <laughs> i don't know it just there comes we go. To that's me. a that's a segment a new segment uh, did you guys see the the haiku i posted on facebook I did not. Could you read it for Oh, my God. Can I share it, Phil? Do you like haiku? Sure. All right. So this poem is entitled, Shit, a haiku by Bill Schmidt. Is it over? (laughs) (laughs) It's just (laughs) beginning, baby. But there's only three lines, so it's short. Yeah. Shit. Rainwater flowing to a rusted sewer grate. Shit can be pretty, too. Thank you. Nice. It makes you think. You know, it uh, it really... um it really stimulates my, you know, my uh, curiosity bone. It's know? about fascism. Did you get that? It's about fascism. Well, you know, I think you're. I, the, I, you're I thought it was just about shit. That's what I got. No, well, that I too. thought I. I think you're thinking neo-fascism because you know the the old school the that that shits out. You know. Mm. I do love the Matrix, and Neo was my favorite character. So thank you for bringing that up. Yeah. Speaking of shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> speaking of shit. Yes. I I. Uh, so I've been on this, actually part of, I, I, I had a, to our friends in Ireland, as usual, for our podcast, our biggest fan group, we, um, I, I recently had a really, really bad anxiety attack a few days ago. It was just, oh, I didn't end, like, 
I, I was I had a bad argument with a fucking idiot at work about cars and guns. This he was telling me somehow the Bill of Rights and Constitution says that I need to own a machine gun and a Ford truck somehow. Somehow that's what he told me. And somehow I'm the enemy for driving a golf Volkswagen. So any anyways, I ended up coming home and I'm like, dude, I feel like shit, man. I'm I had a gallon of stress free tea. And then I'm like, no, dude, I still feel like shit. So then I had two gummies of melatonin to try and sleep off the attack. No, dude, this is getting worse. And then I had like a full fucking bowl. And then, dude, it was really, it It went from, I'm watching Three Stooges. The first five minutes, I'm laughing my ass off. And then like the rest of it, I'm like, that really has to hurt when they hit each other. <laughs> I can't imagine what they're going through. They're friends. Why are they doing that to each other? <laughs> So uh, what's ma- what what did what was Moe's childhood like that he's so <laughs> such a bully? You know? <laughs> and so so yeah, it, it was it was really bad. But the one thing that I couldn't get out of my mind, I'll mention afterward. But point is, I think the reason why I had the attack too was because when I take so- when I do something, I take it to the extreme, and I I've been dieting where uh, since the new year. This one's this is the only sure. resolution I'm living up to. Uh-huh. But soups and salads, and then I run. I try to run six miles every day, but I run five usually. And it's just been a fucking wear on me. You can imagine when I go from like whatever the fuck you want, Harold's chicken pizza diet to running five miles every day and then eating nothing but soup and salad. Like your body needs fucking something to digest. So I come home and, and you know, you're supposed to run first and then you're supposed to eat like you're not supposed to eat before you run. I, you got a carbo see, load, I, I thought. Yeah. See, I think it goes both ways. Like, yeah, think, well, well, that, I mean, that's the way that I was following. Just because, sure. I don't know. I felt like I felt like if I eat first, oh yeah, well, because I come home at five. Mm-hmm. If I eat first, you got to give like three, four hours before. Yeah, and then you end up running at fucking nine p.m. and then you got to sleep and wake up at four a.m. So, I and anyways, I'm like, dude, I need. I'm so fucking hungry right now, and I come home with Gavin, and got to love the Gavin stories, man, dude. <laughs> This kid, I'm just chilling on my computer, and I hear, help, help. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, tell me he didn't, like, hit puberty or some shit, you know? And I go in the bathroom, and he's standing there fucking naked with the toilet plunger. He shat this clay ball out of soft, like, I know it was pure green cuts, because that's what I made him eat the other day, because they were about to expire. And he's just standing there fucking naked. I got to see his fucking egg roll, you know? <laughs> Sting. Mm. And I'm and, and there's shit overflowing. Every, and I'm like, dude, thank you because I just lost my appetite and I'm going to go run. <laughs> you know? And, and then, yeah. I mean, because, you do what you got to do. Right? <laughs> be, be, yeah, yeah. Like, and I'm telling Kelly, she's like, what, well, what was he supposed to do? He never plunged a toilet. I'm like, yeah, but it feels fucking weird to see that fucking egg roll standing out and then this shit overflowing, you know? <laughs> and it, it yeah, was you just don't a, want a scar. I have him associate the two, you know? Yeah. Growing and then, up like, oh, my dick then, is shit. Well, it scarred me because then I, I, I'm having an attack and all I picture is fucking oh, egg rolls God. When, when I'm having my attack. <laughs> that would, you know, yeah. I, I do honestly say that that would probably make it worse. Oh. They, they can't do anything to help the cause yeah. at, at that point. Yeah. So does he normally take shits naked, or did he ever explain that? Part no, of no. Him? He, I, I guess he was gonna take a shower afterwards, but he was constipated, so he like brought a, I don't know, one million facts book with him. And he's reading on the shitter, and I'm like, don't become that guy. You're, you're gonna be there <laughs> two hours on the shitter. You, you don't flush. You're you're letting that scent seethe into the fucking walls. You know, don't. Don't no books allowed in there. Nip it in the bud. Yeah. And no, just your phone. Just your phone. <laughs> Come on, Gavin. Uh, to get with the get with the tech of the day. Yeah. So you hit him with the plunger, and then what did you do? And then I, I I was like, eat that fucking. I was like, where's the money, Lebowski? And stick his head in the fucking clay pit shit. Oh. You know? Like the nihilist. Go ahead. You're a strong oh, you know, figure. speaking of the, yeah, that that psycho at my work, he called me. He said, "All right, nihilist." That was the end of the argument. So, did you did you ask him to define nihilism? Because I always find that fun. It seems to me that uh, the only people who ever mention nihilism don't seem to know a fucking thing about <laughs> it. Because <Yeah, yeah. laughs> I have a feeling uh, 
I know his explanation of nihilism. Well, well funny thing is, I, I, I don't really, he's he's like, they don't believe in anything. I'm like, <laughs> did you use Big Lebowski as your research? Yeah, because you know? uh, that's, that's not a good source for that. Yeah. Um, for those of you listening, uh, nihilism is the idea that the strong will prevail over the weak and that nothing really matters. Um, this guy probably thought it was some form of socialism brought on by our Kenyan master who is still running a blacked out government over uh, over our current one. Um, it's Barack Obama in case anybody was was wondering. Yeah, thank you. Um, as I, I, <laughs> as, I uh, um, as the uh, as the the you know uh, future senator of Arizona Joe uh, Arpaio would put it. Um, we need to spend more time looking into this Kenya thing, you know. I know I said earlier that the show was uh, political and topical. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I'll cut, I'll cut the shit. <laughs> well, no, it's just it's embarrassing to me because I don't know. I'm sitting here thinking like, what the fuck's Arizona? <laughs> <laughs> Senator. Um, but anyway, no, I both I know both of you are far more political minded than I am. So if you want to uh, have at it. By all means, no, and I'll maybe, make maybe stupid we'll little. Uh, this was this was my mistake. <laughs> uh, now we're, we're waiting him. for Bill Maher to come. Right? Oh God! Well, no. you've got a different bill, and sorry to disappoint, but the best I can do is the occasional dick joke or maybe uh, a quick pun here or there. So, um, anyway, continue. Continue. Okay. <laughs> Es nest nam